So at the moment, the camera is not really working all that well for us because we've got this lovely 2D view. But in order to see the 3D view, we have to sort of try and fly around with this stuff in the background. You know, it's, it's just all cluttered and everything. So what I've done is I've made a mask, a, pa a panel on the canvas that's going to obliterate the what the camera is seeing. So if I switch that on, oh, it's all gone. So we can still play, sort of play things here, um, but we can't see it in 3D anymore. Now to see the, the 3D view, I've made a, a, a little portal which now shows the 3D view um, in, in its own little window. So this makes it a little bit easier to get uh, to not be confused by the um, by by all of the stuff going on in the background. So we can we've still got that match between the 3D and the uh, 2D view, but now we can play our shots and see things happen uh, in both the 2D and the 3D view quite well aligned. So the way that that works is that you make an extra camera. Um, and this is just another camera that I've plonked as a child of the main camera, has exactly the same sort of um, rotation and, and scale and everything. And instead of projecting to the screen, it's projecting instead to this target texture. So it's it's actually projecting its image dynamically to a texture. And in order to see that texture, then we create an, an ordinary image, but it's the thing that's different to the image, an ord ordinary image, is that it's a raw image. So what you do is you make a new image or a panel with that has the image component on it. You get rid of that and then you add the component raw image and you make the texture on the raw image the this special um, renderer material now this renderer material is is created by simply going to create render texture so the keywords here are uh, a camera that is, instead of broadcasting to the main screen is broadcasting to a render texture and that render texture is being seen as the texture in this image uh, raw image component uh, which is on the canvas uh, you'll notice as well that i've put the, the the stroke and the stop buttons on here because they just sit a little bit better up there than they were on this orphan panel down here uh, but once you, you're going then once you've done all that then uh, everything works as as usual you just you know you drag on the 2d view and it and you see it on the 3d view you select ball 2 and ball 2 is now selected on there uh, select ball 8 uh, move ball 8 into a, some sort of position uh, you know everything is 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 looking good if we maybe take the shot here um, we made a spark a touch on one so let's let's grab one let's go and have a look at it uh, and we can see that as we turn that around we're going to spark the one into a particular direction so that all looks pretty good um, no scripts at all everything done purely by making this camera this texture and the panel to receive it um, so that's yeah. So what we'll do in the next thing is, is maybe make the camera even better because at the moment, um, if we want to say go to hoop two to have a look at what's going on over there, we have to we have to sort of fly over there. And now if it's if it's now ball number six's turn, we have to sort of fly all the way back um, to to come and and see that. So um, we'll we'll uh, we'll talk about a better way of doing that. Uh, in a moment.